Imagine turning your garden into a bustling hub of wildlife activity, where every bloom and branch brings life and beauty. Welcome to creating wildlife habitats, attract birds and bees to your garden. In this journey we'll explore how to transform even the simplest of gardens into thriving ecosystems. We'll delve into garden designs, the best plants to attract specific wildlife, some fun DIY projects, and how to maintain your garden year-round. So are you ready to become a steward of your own little slice of nature? Stay tuned as we delve into the secrets of transforming your garden into a haven for wildlife. You might be surprised by the potential your garden holds for supporting local ecosystems. Gardens, regardless of their size, are like mini-ecosystems, teeming with life that extends beyond what the eye can see. From the smallest microorganisms in the soil to the bees buzzing around your flowers and the birds chirping in your trees, each contributes to a complex web of life that's vital to our planet's health. Let's delve deeper into what we call ecosystem services. These are the benefits that nature provides to us, often without us even noticing. For instance, did you know that bees, butterflies, and other insects pollinate approximately 75% of the fruits, nuts, and vegetables we eat? Or that birds help control pests by feasting on insects that can damage our plants? These are just two examples of the countless ways nature works for us. Yet these ecosystem services are under threat. Habitat loss, pesticides, and climate change are taking a heavy toll on our local wildlife. This is where your garden comes in. By creating a haven for these creatures, you're helping to ensure the survival of these vital services. And the beauty of it? You don't need a vast estate to make a difference. Even the smallest balcony or windowsill can become a sanctuary for wildlife. Container gardening with native plants, providing a small dish of water, or hanging a bird feeder are all simple ways to invite wildlife into your space. So, whether you have a sprawling lawn, a cozy patio, or just a sunny windowsill, remember every plant matters, every bird feeder matters, every water dish matters. It's these small steps that can collectively have a big impact on our local ecosystems. As we can see, our gardens can play a significant role in supporting our local wildlife, and the journey towards creating a wildlife-friendly garden doesn't stop here. In the next segment, we'll dive into how you can design your garden to be an inviting space for birds, bees, and other wildlife. Stay tuned. Now, let's discuss how you can design a garden that is not only beautiful but also wildlife-friendly. Designing a wildlife-friendly garden doesn't require a green thumb just a keen understanding of the needs of your local wildlife. The first step is to choose the right plants for your garden. Native plants are the best choice as they have co-evolved with local wildlife, providing the right kind of food and shelter. These plants are adapted to local conditions, making them easier to grow and maintain. Consider a mix of plant types, trees, shrubs, grasses, and flowering plants, to provide a variety of food sources and habitats. And don't forget to include plants that bloom at different times of the year, ensuring a constant food supply. Layout matters too. Wildlife prefer layered vegetation, mimicking a natural habitat. Start with taller trees and shrubs at the back, medium-sized plants in the middle, and ground covers at the front. This tiered approach not only looks attractive, but also provides a range of heights for different species to nest and feed. Water is a crucial part of any wildlife-friendly garden. A simple bird bath or a small pond can attract a variety of species. If you have space, consider creating a damp area or bog garden, which can attract amphibians and insects. Remember, not all wildlife is attracted to the same kind of plants. Some birds prefer berries, while others like seeds. Bees are attracted to flowers rich in nectar, while butterflies prefer flat, daisy-like flowers where they can perch. Lastly, consider the impact of non-native plants. While some can be attractive and easy to grow, they may not provide the same benefits as native plants. Some non-native species can even become invasive, outcompeting native plants and reducing biodiversity. So when designing your garden, think about the local wildlife, choose native plants, provide a variety of habitats, and don't forget about water. Consider the preferences of different species and the impact of non-native plants. Remember, a well-planned garden is an irresistible invitation to wildlife. Let's venture into the world of plants that are particularly attractive to birds and bees. Your choice of plants can transform your garden into a paradise for these delightful creatures, creating a vibrant ecosystem right in your backyard. Firstly, why not consider sunflowers? These towering beauties are not just visually stunning, but their seeds are a favorite among many bird species, and when in bloom, 
their nectar-rich flowers are a magnet for bees. Next up, the versatile lavender. With its soothing aroma and beautiful purple flowers, lavender is loved by both birds and bees. It's a hardy plant too, making it an excellent choice for beginners. For something a bit different, the trumpet vine, with its bold bright flowers shaped perfectly for hummingbirds to sip nectar, is an excellent addition. But remember, this plant can be a bit of a rambler, so give it space to grow. And let's not forget about the humble daisy. Its simple elegance and plentiful pollen make it an all-season favorite for bees. Seasons matter too. For spring, consider planting cherry or apple trees. Their blossoms are not only visually stunning but also provide an early nectar source for bees. In the heat of summer plants like the black-eyed Susan and cone flowers will keep your garden buzzing with activity. As autumn arrives, goldenrod and asters continue to provide food for our winged friends, helping them prepare for winter. Remember, different plants attract different species. The ruby-throated hummingbird, for instance, is particularly fond of red or orange tubular flowers. Meanwhile, bees tend to be less picky, but they do have a soft spot for blue, purple, and yellow blooms. Creating a diverse garden with a variety of plants will ensure you attract a wide range of birds and bees, contributing to the overall health of your local ecosystem. Choosing the right plants is a surefire way to make your garden a favorite spot for birds and bees. So why wait? Start planning your wildlife-friendly garden today, and soon you'll be enjoying the sights and sounds of nature in your own backyard. For those of you who love a good DIY project, here are some ideas to make your garden even more appealing to wildlife. First, let's talk bird feeders. These are a great way to attract a variety of birds to your garden, and they're surprisingly easy to make. Start with a simple platform feeder. All you need is a flat piece of wood for the base, some small strips for the edges to keep the seeds in place, and a rope to hang it up. Remember to place it in a quiet and safe location away from predators. Next, we have bee houses. Now don't worry, these aren't for honeybees, but for solitary bees that are harmless to humans. These bees are fantastic pollinators and a welcome addition to any garden. To make a bee house, you'll need a wooden block and a drill. Simply drill some holes of various sizes and voila, you've got a bee house. Hang it in a sunny spot and watch as the bees move in. And let's not forget about water sources. A shallow dish filled with pebbles and water can serve as a wonderful bird bath or a bee watering station. Just make sure to change the water regularly. These DIY projects are not only fun but also incredibly beneficial for our feathered and buzzing friends. So why not roll up your sleeves and start creating a haven for wildlife in your own backyard? It's the perfect weekend project, and the rewards are truly worth the effort. Now that we've created a wildlife-friendly garden, how do we maintain it for year-round activity? It all starts with regular care and attention. Keep in mind, gardens are living, breathing entities and require nurturing just like any other living thing. Firstly, consider the seasons. Each brings its own set of tasks. Spring is a time for planting and mulching, while summer calls for regular watering and deadheading of flowers. Autumn is perfect for pruning and preparing the garden for winter, which is the ideal time for planting and ordering seeds for the upcoming year. Avoiding pesticides is crucial. These chemicals can harm the very creatures we're trying to attract. Instead, opt for organic methods. Introduce beneficial insects, use natural fertilizers and compost, or plant species that naturally deter pests. And remember, a little wildness is good. Leave some fallen leaves for hedgehogs, and let a corner of your garden grow naturally. With proper maintenance, your garden can become a year-round haven for wildlife. We've covered a lot today in our journey to create wildlife-friendly gardens. From understanding your garden's potential to choosing the right plants and creating DIY projects, we've seen how every garden, big or small, can become a thriving habitat. It's not just about having a beautiful garden, it's about contributing to our local ecosystems and fostering biodiversity. So, start small, let nature inspire you and remember every change counts. Thank you for joining us on this journey. We hope you're inspired to transform your garden into a wildlife haven. Don't forget to subscribe and share your progress with us.